Do you need RV safe toilet paper in your RV? Stick around folks because we're going to test four different kinds of RV and residential toilet papers today to see what works best. Hi everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Susan and we are RV Blogger. And if you've seen us before, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. We have lots of YouTube videos that we make all about RVing. And we also have our website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our fantastic Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies. We invite you to join the group jump in, ask questions, answer questions, but have a good time, meet fellow campers and learn all about RVing. And because of that group, we decided to make this video. We sure did. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of people wanna know, do I need RV safe toilet paper in my travel trailer? And even though we've always used that, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't use a residential style toilet paper. So we decided, let's test this out. Yep, let's test it out. And the first thing we did was look on YouTube for some videos about how to what tell, other people are doing. Yeah, and how to tell if residential toilet paper is mm -hmm. safe for your RV or not. There are quite a few videos about it, but in almost all those videos, they sort of do the same thing. They'll take a mason jar, fill it with water, put some residential toilet paper in, and then shake it like crazy for 10 or 15 seconds. And if it dissolves, then they say, okay, it's safe for your RV. But I don't really know if that's true or not, because we were thinking about it, and mm -hmm. when you RV, you're typically not driving around a whole lot, right? right? You get you to stay camp. at your campground the whole weekend and you're stationary. Yeah, so we thought, you know what? Let's do the experiment a little differently. What we're gonna do is take our mason jars and fill them with water and then let the toilet paper sit in there for 24 hours without shaking it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll open them up tomorrow and we'll see which ones dissolve the best. Right, so what we've decided to use is a one-ply RV safe toilet paper a two-ply RV safe toilet paper, a generic brand of RV toilet paper that we got at Walmart, and then a name brand toilet paper that you can get at any grocery store. And then the other thing that we decided to take a look at was how do the toilet chemicals affect the toilet paper dissolving in your tank? Right. So we're gonna do all four of these toilet papers in plain water. We're gonna do all four of these toilet papers with Happy Camper, toilet chemical and then we're going to also do all four of them using aqua chem toilet chemical as well and we'll see if the chemicals help the toilet paper dissolve mm -hmm. any better that way so let's get started let's do it okay so the first thing we did is we added some happy camper chemical into a one gallon jug we went ahead and diluted it properly because this is one scoop for 40 gallons and we have one gallon so we figured out the measurement, put the right amount in each gallon jug for the Happy Camper and the Aqua Chem. And now we're gonna just go ahead and fill each of the mason jars, I don't know, like two thirds of the way. So now we have all of our jars equally filled with water or water with toilet chemical, and it's time to go ahead and put the toilet paper in the jars. We figure, what, four squares? Yeah, that's good enough. Per jar is a good representation. So we'll go ahead and do that and let them sit 24 hours and see how they do. So now they're all filled up. We're gonna put the lids on them, let them sit for 24 hours and see what their results are. We'll check them tomorrow and see how they dissolve. All right, so here we are on the next day. It's been 24 hours and we let all 12 of our samples sit overnight. We haven't shaken them or anything. The only thing we did do is we did pick up the tray and move the samples In the shade. into the shade okay. so that the sun didn't have any effect on all of the toilet paper soaking in either water or water plus chemicals. And so as you can see, and I guess Susan's gonna get a close up, all of them are really very similar and none of the toilet paper has really broken down at all. It's just sitting in the liquid and there's no breakdown that has occurred 
even in the chemical liquid, it's just toilet paper sitting in water. And this is kind of why we wanted to run the test. And that is because your RV is not shaking up all of the toilet paper that's in the tank. And, and if you're hooked up at your campsite, you're gonna dump before you leave. So you're not gonna drive and shake everything all up either most of the time. Guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour each one of the samples into a strainer and just see what the consistency of the toilet paper is. Is it you know, easily breaking down or is it sort of holding together? And then we should have a very good idea of whether or not you need to go with RV safe toilet paper or if you can use some of the residentials. So this is the first sample that's just in plain water. And that looks like it broke down, you know, pretty good as you would expect uh, RV safe toilet paper to Especially do. Especially one ply. Especially one ply. Yep, this is one ply. This is the cheap stuff. Now this is the one ply in the Happy Campers water and chemical. And I would say it broke down more just in the plain water. But yeah, I think it broke down better in just plain water than it did in the chemical. And then we have one ply RV safe in the AquaChem. Have to lift this up a little bit. Same deal. I I kind of feel like the toilet paper and just the plain water broke down the most. Yeah, I mean it's it's dissolving. Yeah. But it's um, you know, it's one ply. You probably kind of expect that. Yeah. All right. So next we're gonna try the RV Safe two ply in plain water and then in our happy campers and then in our aqua chem and we'll see how that broke down and that looks like it held up pretty well it's not really falling apart by any stretch it's still pretty much together let's see how it did in the happy campers chemical this little piece is the one pie yeah, that held up pretty good too, but it's falling apart. I mean, it's not really falling apart as I th much as I thought it would. All right, and now let's try the two-ply in the AquaChem and see how that held up. And same deal, that's still holding up pretty good, but it's, you know, it's able to fall apart but there's really no noticeable difference that I can tell so far. All the toilet papers aren't totally disintegrated by any stretch. All right, so now we're gonna try our residential toilet papers. Um, they're both two ply. One of them is just your Walmart brand great value in water. We'll see how this residential held up just soaking overnight. Oh, and you can tell that's much more well, that's kind of falling apart. That's falling apart a lot. I guess it clumped out. But yeah, it clumped it is out, but it's really apart. falling apart. So that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, now let's check out Great Value Toilet Paper in Happy Campers. See if the chemical makes any difference. Yeah, that's kind of falling apart too. Can't really pick it up as easy. That might be a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So this is disintegrating pretty well. And then we have our great value with the AquaChem chemical. It does just clump right out. It falls out in one big clump. And but you can see it's disintegrating. It's falling apart pretty good. How would you say that compared to the Happy Camper? I don't know. I think the Happy Camper actually fell apart a little easier. Okay. This is a little staying together a little bit more. Okay. All right. So here we are for our fourth toilet paper, which is the residential Angel Soft two-ply two toilet paper. And I apologize because I keep looking at the wrong camera. Susan's <laughs> got her other camera trying to zoom in on the 
on the results and I keep looking at her instead of the main camera. So yeah, you can't blame me. <laughs> She's cute. All right, so this is Angel Soft in plain water. And we'll pour that in. That just sort of came out in one big clump. That's really kind of staying together. It's not really, really falling apart very well. Mm -hmm. So maybe even the generic brand was a little more soluble. Yeah. Yeah, that came out in one big clump too in the Happy Campers. We'll see if the chemical makes any difference. Eh, a little bit, that's falling apart just a little bit more so I think the Happy Camper did help this. You know, it's kind of staying together now. It's not heavy enough. But it definitely made an effect on the toilet paper breaking down. And then our final will be the Angel Soft in the uh, Aquacam chemical. And again, it's breaking down a little bit. I think it's break. I think the Happy Camper broke down the most. To okay. be honest, out of the three. All right, honey. So what do you think? Who was the winner? All right. So in my opinion, I think that you'd be safe going with an RV safe toilet paper, but I still think you can get away with. A generic version um, a of residential, paper. right? A residential, especially if you're using a chemical, right? Yeah, which you, obviously you should be using a chemical anyway, right? Because <laughs> and not only does it help your toilet paper break down, but it yeah. helps eliminate odors, odor, bacteria build up, and all that other yep. stuff. So you do need a chemical. But honestly, I you know I was kind of hoping to be wowed by this. Yeah, I was like I wanted to see you know this. And, and we did not get a big that, difference, right? Not a big difference. So to me, that just meant, um, you know, that there is no clear winner. Yeah, I will say this: if you're a weekend camper and you camp for a weekend, and then you park your RV in your driveway for a week or two before you go camping again, I would really recommend going with the RV safe toilet paper. And the reason for that is because. The RV safe toilet paper may break, may break down better over time as well. We only gave this 24 hours and the issue is that you don't want any of the toilet paper landing on one of the sensors inside your black tank mm -hmm. and then, you know, clumping on there. Giving you a false reading. And then giving you false readings saying that your tank is fuller than what it really is. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a very regular camper i'd say stick with the rv safe if you're a regular camper or full timer then i think you you know you're constantly filling and flushing and filling and flushing and you mm -hmm. could probably get away with using uh the res residential in that case right now we also have a couple of videos where we did uh, how to clean your rv black tanks mm -hmm. and your tank sensors as well so you can just click on the right above to check out that video. Speaking of checking out some videos, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below and you'll be able to check them out for yourself. And please remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell when you do so that you'll be notified every single week when we come out with a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see, see you, you next time. time.